Hey everybody, got another Light Rays 60WY by Smart. Uh, this is the second one from the uh, same school. This one has a unusual complaint in that it powers off randomly and flips the screen upside down. They've changed the bulb, they've reseated all the cables. Curious. Never seen that happen before. And I noticed, where did I see it? I thought I, well, I noticed that this one's dirty, really dirty too. It's not really showing up for you guys. Let's get the uh, flashlight out here. You can see all that dust. You gross. So I, I believe we will see something similar to the other one. There should be a link, hopefully, for that one. Because that one's finished. Had the uh, audio problem. Pop the door off. And let's pop this lamp out. See, this has similar heat damage. Ooh, similar. It's actually worse. All right, we'll start here first. Kind of do a uh, post-mortem on things. So you see that discoloration right there? That's heat. The heat from the bulb caused that. In fact... There should be a ceramic sticker with the uh, same serial number as that right there. For that sticker to melt off, this had to get really hot. That's literally made out of ceramic. So it had to get hot enough for the sticker to just fall apart. I'm trying to see if I have another bare bulb around. Yeah, it's kind of like this one. You can see that's ceramic. That's not, um, it's not plastic or paper. It's actually ceramic fibers made into a sticker. So that's good to very high temperature. So what I just did with that one is what happened to this. It just kind of fell off. I can also see inside, see how it looks kind of fuzzy, foggy almost. That is dust built up on the back of the reflector. You can see it a little more, so if I shine it in through here. That haze is all dust. You can see some of the particles there. I saw something. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, shine it in through here. See that, that little dark spot? Let's see if I can point at it, holding everything right come on just had it right there that's just burned burned dust there we are get the flashlight turned down a little bit that crust right there that's just dirt so we're going to find that this is dirty i do see dust on the end of the lens i'm hoping the lamp is salvageable and if not we'll replace it it's from last year T19, that's 2019. Oh, two years ago. Sorry, we're in 2021 now. So let's get this screw out. Seems that whoever took this one apart did a much better job than the other one. None of this stuff's broken. On the other one, these were all broken. Then, let's see, that's everything on the top. Yeah. Let's get back on the inside here. I'm going to put all the screw, the case screws in this one, and all the internal screws in that, this one. Case screw, internal screw.
no screw. There we are. So we're short one. Remember that for me. Somebody remember that for me. Okay. Now let's see if we can pop that top loose. Let's see. Get all those side clips released. That came off way better than the other one. It's not nearly as bent. This one doesn't seem as dirty either. Definitely doesn't have the broken those things, which is good. Like we fixed on the other one. Somebody had this case out. Oof, they bent that. I hope that didn't short against anything. Well, we'll straighten that out once I have it out. Oops. Broke my rule. And those they had backwards. <laughs> they had the uh, the coarse thread screw going into the metal, and the fine thread fine thread screw going into the plastic. So those were backwards. And let's get these out. I mean, I'm I'm fine with folks opening their gear. I mean, that's you know how are you going to learn. I've made plenty of mistakes. I still make mistakes. It's the only way you're going to figure it out. But I mean, there's certain things like paying attention to where screws came out of and, you know, a coarse thread screw going into metal versus a fine thread screw. I kind of thought that'd be a little more obvious, but you know, it's fine. I'll make my comments and move on. Got the back panel off. Looks like they tried to clean it a little. There's not as much loose dust in here as there was in the other one. Let's see, let's get, it's not supposed to be in there. Speaker wire doesn't go in there. That crushes things. This is supposed to be in there, but it's supposed to have the rest of it. I just hope whatever they did didn't make this worse. That's what I'm suspecting is there's a power supply issue, but we'll see. Before I power it up, I just want to make sure everything is safe and that they didn't make anything worse. Because this, this is all bent, funny, and, you know. Oh, it's rusty. That's weird. I wonder if this was in, like, a gym or something. Yeah, there's all kinds of weird damage. Let's see. Yeah, it looks all right. That looks all right. That looks okay.
look at the DMD connection. Definitely dirty. Yep, very dirty. Okay, that's good. That's back down. Plug the uh, ballast back in. I wonder if I should. Maybe I should do that lamp first. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to. Before we fire it up, pop this back out. I want to make sure that blower fan down there is good. There's only two screws. Oops. There's one here and where's that other one? Oh, come on. I can't, the camera's in the way. <laughs> it's really annoying. Yeah, see this is all dirty. Yeah, they try looks like somebody tried to clean the fan. They didn't do a very good job. They didn't do a bad job. They definitely probably saved it, but I still see dust packed in there. Now you guys can't see it. Let's get Mr. Flashlight again. See? They got some of it out, but not enough. I'm going to go hit this with some air. That's a lot better. It's not perfect, but I'll show you what I'm looking for, really. I want to make sure that those, that as I spin the uh, blade, that I keep seeing light through that, and that there's no big globs of dust blocking it because there's definitely still some dust in there. You can see some here, but it's just like baked into the fan. Could replace the fan, but really, as I said before, some dust is inevitable. And okay, sure you don't want it, cleaner's better, but let's be realistic too. As long as the air can move and the air can move well, some dust isn't going to hurt anything. So it's kind of one of those things, you know, do the best you can. There's definitely a limit where it has to be clean enough. But, you know, there's, there's a bit of leeway. So keep that in mind. Let's see. Let's make sure that wire's back. Wire's not in right. There we go. We go back on top. This all looks okay. I should probably do this fan while I'm at it. Yeah. And then probably I should do these guys too. Mark. Let me just mark where these are supposed to be. Use my paint pen just to 
mark up so I know which one goes where. I mean, it should be pretty obvious, but you know, you never know. What is holding? What is holding that? About oh, it's a little plastic. All right. These two, and that one. Yeah, I like that better. I like that a lot better. So let's see, where's the mark? Mark, what did I get the mark on my hand? No, it's fine. I know where they go. So that's all clean. Let's get that metal piece back in and see. Eh. Actually, I'm going to go clean this stuff up. Okay, so this is in. Let's put these screws back. this guy. Uh, let's see if I can fish that through. That's got to go here. Otherwise, let's take everything out, which I might have to do. Yeah, my mistake. But maybe, just maybe, off because it was just bugging me that that speaker wasn't sitting right. So, just pop that back in. Mm, pardon me. 
plug that back in. And let's put this back in. Oh, wrong one. Goes here. There we are. And there's the rest. There we are. Here's the rest of my screws. What we got on this side. Anything else I need to deal with? No, that looks all right. Got to put this screw back in, which is this one. All right, sides back in. Main board is connected. Let's tuck these guys down. Put this speaker back in. I'm gonna drop a screw in like I did on the other one, just just up here to kind of hold that DMD connector in place. There we are. And then we'll put this in. I hope it works. It's really uh, it's really heated. It looks like it'll probably be okay. I can put it on the uh, test box down there, and I might. But nah, let's just let's just go for it and see what happens. Hmm. Why does that not feel like it's sitting down all the way? Oh, that little little captive washer moved. Yeah, there we are. That's better. It's just a weird the way that the screw was sitting. There we are. Now it's down. That's good. Let's get my flat head and we'll jam that in there to hold that button in place. Let me get the power cord. I have a feeling, I have a feeling with this and I'm going to have to run it a while before it'll act up. Spin it around. Let's see what we get. Flashing green lights. No fans. Orange light. Well, that's weird. Make sure I got my wires right. Yeah, it looks fine. Things plugged in. Oh, there we are. Now you guys can see. Hmm. Nothing. Let me double check with that main board. Make sure I. I mean, it looked to me when I looked in there that everything was straight, but let's just make sure. I'm trying to see the pins. Yeah, no, they're straight. I can see it through here. They're fine. That's all fine. I wonder if when they were messing with it, if they did something. There we 
right. Stand by. That's shutter or source. Let's see. Yeah, we're not getting anything. Let me get my meter. Well, ain't that something? It uh, came on by itself when I was getting my meter. Unless I was just impatient, which is entirely possible. As you can see, smart on the screen there. So it's trying. There we are. Let's check some low voltages, see how things are doing. Let's check with the low voltage power first. 3.2. Just say 12, 12. Oop. 20. Some of these, or one of these, is going to be the uh, ballast or the uh, power factor correction that turns on that 380 to feed the ballast. But these all look good. Normal, we could say. Let this cool down. Spin it around. We'll try it again. Because, like I said, the complaint on this one's weird. They say it'll run for a bit and then flip the screen over, which is weird. Very weird. All right, let's try this again, and this time maybe I'm being patient enough. Got some chips getting hot. Yeah, see these are getting hot. That's that's not right. This may need a new main board. Or I may have to put the scope on it. This PMD 1000 is always suspect to me now. Did you notice we don't have that light flashing anymore? That's curious. right up that time. Interesting. Turn that so it's not my eyes or your eyes and let's do some voltage checking while it's on. So before we had 20 19.2, yep. Nothing. Nothing. I think 12 should be here. Yeah. 
12, 0, 3.2. I think this is probably the power factor enable there, where this one may be 3. 12, yeah. Nothing and nothing. So that came right on. That definitely is strange. All right, I'm going to let this just run for a bit, and I'm going to see what happens. Maybe I'll get the thermal camera and give it a check because, holy sh yeah. <laughs> Oops. This is getting really hot. It can't be right. I didn't mean to yank the power like that either. I just kind of bumped it. Let's, uh... Can it get me the fans back on? No. All right, we'll just leave it off. We'll let the lamp cool down. Drain those capacitors. And off. There we go. how much a replacement board is for this and we will also investigate the uh, power supply because this chip let's see here yeah this chip drives the DMD it goes right to that connector seems all right unless there's something wrong down inside there Let's see that uh, I'm gonna look at the top of those capacitors see if any of them look bloated it's got some dust around it but they look okay mm, actually this one feels a little puffy in comparison to the rest and it has like dust build up I'm wondering if this leaked and then maybe dust stuck to it and dried because look it's like crusted on there like, it's not just flaking off <sighs> even if I blow on it hard how come it's not on the rest of them let's see it goes there yeah they're both over holes so there's really no reason that this one should have stuff on it and the other ones don't. Hmm. Let's see, what do we have here? So I see like, let's see if you guys can see it. There's like a, like around here, there's like a, a deposit on the board. I don't know if that's from cleaning or what, but it's it's weird. Oh, it's end dust. I'll bet you end dust. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Man, that stuff's nasty. Yeah, there's end dust all over this. It's gross. All right. Well, let's. Man, do I take that? I'm debating if I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take this out and see what I can find. All right. I'll be back. And we are back a few weeks later with this uh, light. What is this? A sewer? light wave uh, I can't remember now it's been a few weeks the uh, main board I ordered finally came up ah light rays it's a smart light rays 60 wi this one it had a hard time coming on you press power it wouldn't always fire up right away um, it just didn't seem to hold its settings properly you were getting weird voltages 
I still have my wire here from where I was testing the voltages. So I'm gonna pop my gloves on and then we are going to get this old main board out and get the new one installed. Here's the new main board. Uh, it was pulled out of a working unit, so I guess it's not technically new, but it's, it's new to me. Um, you're not going to find these new, new anywhere, as far as I know. So to take out the old one, just got a whole bunch of wires to remove. This reminds me a lot of the uh, main board in a BenQ. My guess is they're made by the same original manufacturer. Here's the uh, here's a BenQ main board, and here is the 60WI main board. You can see they're really similar. And the, uh, the lamps are very close to my guess is they're made by Delta or um, that other company, KISD, QISD, Q-I-S-D-I, that company. So let's see, yep, I know these screws in there. It's been a few weeks since I ordered that. The uh, main board came from Hungary. So I had a little bit of a trip to get here. Trying to see if there's anything obvious between them. The one thing I did notice was there's a lot of, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but there's something on the board. You can kind of see it like here. I tried cleaning that stuff off. I have a feeling that might be what happened. Maybe some fluid got in. It definitely was somewhere damp. Here's the underside of the uh, shield. It was definitely somewhere corrosive, at least. I don't know if damp is the right description or what, but definitely corrosive, because that's corroded. That's the uh, shield that goes on top. So we'll take the new board. We'll line up. get these just tuck these wires back because we have to line up with that connector properly in this one good. Kind of. Yep. All right. I just wanted to make sure that connector was lined up right. connector in because these screw holes are not quite lining up with the holes. But I don't know if that's the board being bent or if it's something not lined up connector wise. Definitely not the board not being lined up connector wise. I can see it. So the metal just must be a little off because these are okay. It's just over here. Yeah, if 
feels fine. Let's plug this stuff in and then I'm going to drop a uh, screw in and we'll make sure that it fires up and does what we expect it to do. Oops. I just tried to plug the sensor, color wheel sensor into the uh, color wheel motor port. fan system and exhaust fan and then camera focus camera stuff and another speaker ballast is in all right that's good let's put those back here That'll keep it from getting loose and getting in the way. Let's see. All right, we have standby. Looks good. Yeah, see that fired right up that time. No delay. get on the screen here. There we are, there's the smart logo. Let's see, menu. See here's the uh, awesome remote I use. <laughs> the actual housing broke, so I just soldered that on in place of the uh, 2032 battery. It works. Alright, that's good. That looks good. Let's see. Lamp reminder. Where's the timer? Well, let's go to the test screen first. Display. Checkerboards do that. There we are. All right. So I'm going to let this run for a little bit. I'm going to let this go and uh, just make sure it doesn't flip the picture over like they were saying. And uh, I'll be back in a little bit and then we'll put it back together. And I let it run for about an hour, a little under, a little under an hour, you know, 45, 50 minutes or so, but it's good. Same test pattern, nothing changed. So I'm going to turn it off. Where did I put the remote? Get my super cool smart remote here with our... Uh, Oh, wait, I should probably take that double-sided tape off and stick that so that it's... Oh, that double-sided tape wore out years ago. All right, anyway, power off. Let the fan cool down. Spin it back around. There's the old main board. I still think something in here, some, you know, some schmutz got in there because you can kind of, you, know, you can't really see it up here, but the uh, end dust is what I think killed this thing, or if it was in a gym or just somewhere there was corrosive air coming in because we weren't getting power down to the land power would come on for a split second and then it would shut off this checked out okay my guess is it's something in here because this was getting really warm that's like the main the main chip that does everything that's like the brain 
because there's our firmware. Uh, that's part of the DLP system. That might be the actual LVDS driver for this. And of course, we have some RAM, ROM. Uh, let's see, that's video processing, it looks like. Probably from all this stuff feeds into here that feeds to there and that looks like it goes to there and that goes out to everything or vice versa something like that though but this is going in the scrap pile bad 60 wi now it's turned off back in standby a little cheater tool out Let's see so this goes back on first in now that one now these are all going into metal threads so we don't have to worry about catching the edge of the thread like we do on plastic threads to be Pretty sure it's next. Helps if I put it on the right direction. Definitely works much better. Let's get those, let's put those rear connectors on now, rear fasteners. Yeah. They're just a little too long. So we're going to start those by hand. I'm just 
starting them by hand. I'm using this just to hold them. You can just kind of slides in there. There's nothing grabbing. It's just so I can get it lined up and have something to spin against. And then of course we'll use the uh, nut driver here to finish it. Machine screw right here, fine thread. There we are. One, two. That should take care of the back. Back looks good. Let's get that top on. So here's the top. I gave it a general, just kind of wipe down, but let's, uh, uh, where's my rack? I'm gonna give it a good wipe down. sometimes just sticks to the plastic and the, the air compressor won't knock it loose so if I just kind of stir it up like this now I'm gonna go hit it with air screw here. There it is. Did we ever decode when this was made? 13, 2, 2, 8. Year, month, day. Okay. So it's see if we can get that to focus. It's Rev D, 2013, February 28th. Wow, it's made on the last day. And then the plastic is polycarbonate, fiber reinforced, 40%. It is recyclable. Good to know. And that's good information for if you scrap down things. You really want to try to keep stuff out of the landfill if you can help it. Um, so it's not a bad idea to take this stuff apart and then, you know, recycle the plastic, recycle everything, really. But to put the door back on, I'm going to line it up with these two notches, like that, and then it just snaps down. The screw is right there. going to get a uh, pH 1. Put that in. Wipe that side off. 
Now we have to put the bottom screws in. Now we have three of these uh, pan head type. They go where the arrows are. I'm going to do these by hand because it's easier to feel that thread. Then all the little ones. There we are. One. Actually, I'm going to start it with the hand driver. few up here on the front. Let's see, there's two. Got this one. And then that one on the bottom. together. Let's give the uh, top of the case just a little a little wipe down. I see finger smudges all over the power button so with COVID and stuff let's get it nice clean for them. Clean that camera lens. And we'll also get that short throw lens with the uh, optical light. Oh yeah, there's uh, end dust all over that. See right there? There we go, much better. All right, so that's good. What I'm going to do now is fire it up, and then uh, we will let it cook some more. I will do that. Actually, let's do it right here on camera. Let's get our power cord. Plug it on in. Have our power button lit. You can see the light coming on. So, that's where we're going to leave it. Um, I'm going to have, hopefully, both of these videos up very close to each other. I fixed the other one of this uh, pair that was sent in that had um, intermittent audio on the uh, output there. So, um, I'll put a link to that video in the description. And uh, if you have questions about your short throw projector, uh, SmartBoard, Optima, BenQ, uh, any any projector really, uh, go ahead and stick it in the comments. And if uh, you don't subscribe, think about it. It'd be cool if you did. You don't have to. Not your boss. But, uh, you know, it'd be cool. But aside from that, thank you for watching.